It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And the scare pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. The machine could help fix the gears. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. better than I thought. Looks like this was part of a machine. It must be huge if that's just one piece. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going.
Huh. What's this thing for? Oh, I might be able to get up there. What's this? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. That works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Uh, Aloy, could you lower the ladder? Yeah, on it. There you go, Varl. Thanks. can't reach from here. I'll have to get closer. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create...
create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stop. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I still can't believe the old ones can fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there, among the stars. The wilds have really grown over this place. My focus might be able to help here. Show off. 